Hi, my name is Scott Regenbogen. I'm a colorectal surgeon at the University of Michigan. Welcome to the IBD School 400 series. In this video, IBD School 401, we'll talk about the choice of when to have surgery for patients with ulcerative colitis. About a third of all ulcerative colitis patients will undergo surgery for their colitis. There are many reasons a patient might elect to undergo surgery. This could be if the patient is in the hospital and sick, if their operation is an emergency, if they have no means of controlling their disease and getting safely out of the hospital, if they cannot reach an acceptable level of symptoms to get discharged, or if they can only reach an acceptable level of symptoms while on steroids. Also, if patients cannot control their colitis with medications, or if they do not want to take medications or have side effects from the medications, or if they have developed precancer changes in the colon that have accompanied their ulcerative colitis. Our goal is to operate on patients when they are as healthy as possible. This would mean a well-nourished patient, not currently on steroids, and not currently hospitalized, in order to best prepare for the operation. We encourage patients to stay active, to do lots of walking, maintain good nutrition, and minimize steroids usage before their operation in order to benefit wound healing after operations that are conducted on an elective basis. Sometimes, if patients need emergency surgery, and we cannot rely on this preparation, for example, in a case where a patient is already hospitalized and experiencing severe and continuous bleeding or other symptoms, if the patient has a perforation or hole in the colon, or if the colon becomes so inflamed that they are at risk of imminent perforation. Some patients with ulcerative colitis will be able to elect when they undergo their operation. However, in emergencies, surgery may be necessary on an urgent basis due to specific complications or health needs. Surgical procedures have the lowest risk when they are elective and patients can prepare for their operations. So look for signs in your ulcerative colitis that you might need surgery, especially if you are already in the hospital. Please watch our next video, IBD School 402, to learn more about the specific surgical options available for ulcerative colitis. I'm Scott Regenbogen, and thank you for watching IBD School.